What is going on guys, Nash here, and today we are going to be exploring all the kill holes that you can make in the game. Well, almost all of them, it depends from map to map, but I'm going to be teaching you how to make like basic uh, kill holes and some more advanced if you manage to, you know, make them and actually get a kill. So, basically before we start, I just gotta say the kill holes are... Uh, whatever holes that you can make in the wall or in the door or whatever and take advantage of them and kill the enemy without you getting noticed uh, of course making a kill hole like brings risk because an enemy can notice that and just start shooting at the wall and uh, you know kill you before you even notice that they are there so let's start off with the basic kill hole I mean pretty much anybody can do this and uh, just shoot the wall and make a small hole in the wall and just try to peek around the hole and actually kill the enemy that is camping and uh, it, it's pretty much easy to do that of course this can be applied both on attack and defensive uh, spots so let's say you are defending as a Jaeger and uh, you wanna defend that door and prevent the enemy from actually reaching your hostage or a bomb or just a secure area you can make a hole in the wall like really basic hole in the wall and just peek around it and uh, hope that you can kill an enemy of course an enemy is not gonna hope that there's actually a wall in the hole until he gets inside but until he gets inside it's probably going to be too late of course these kind of holes in the walls are pretty much basic and they can be noticed easily but a more advanced one is actually when you apply a hole in the wall on a lower height so let's say you're playing a Jaeger and you just apply a hole like this in the wall and you wait an enemy while they're trying to go in and just apply a little hole as low as you can be because most of them are not gonna expect a hole that is going to be down on the ground mostly they expect like a hole like right here and they're like yeah they're gonna peek mostly through here because there's a hole and they're gonna shoot through there and they're gonna miss and that's where you take advantage of that and just shoot at the enemy so that's pretty much a basic uh, kill hole that you can make a much more advanced one is where you can just you know use your melee attack and just l make this little hole in the wall and just peek through it like you cannot see much to the side as you have to move and that's where the enemy can spot you but basically when you make these uh, melee kill holes you expect the enemy to be right in front of you or at least a little bit to the side of course you can expand the kill holes and make them like more of a uh, horizontal view so let's say you use your melee and you apply the melee and you can see that all of these spots can be seen easily but of course this brings a risk that enemy can see that too so if you are an enemy and if you're pushing mostly you're not gonna expect something like this like look it's it's barely visible so you can use that to your advantage of course this is also good when enemies pushing up here because they're not gonna look probably around here they're gonna be focusing on the stairs because most likely they would expect an enemy to be like right here so using a kill hole like that or using a kill hole like this is pretty effective against the enemy because they're not gonna expect because they're just pushing the stairs and just looking above so using uh you know kill holes like this is like really amazing now the next kill holes well you probably know it most of you have done this but if not you can use kill holes like this to actually breach the part of the door and just try to shoot because most of the enemy players are not going to be expecting you to actually be peeking as today will just you know climb up and then uh, you know just try to go in but but you can you can do something like this of course a bit more advanced thing that you can do is like breach a little hole up here so when the enemy goes up they're gonna see oh there's a hole up here there's probably gonna be an enemy trying to shoot from like uh, non crouch position but an actually standing one so if you are you know hoping that the enemy is not that smart you can go and actually prone and expect an enemy to push and maybe score a headshot maybe not but um, you know it's it's a pretty effective tactic to you know have against the enemy now a bit more advanced kill hole that you can make is actually you know melee just a couple of times and actually get a pretty good view at the enemy you know you have like the view to the left and you have the view to the right all at your disposal like you can see what's going on to the left and to the right easily uh, it depends how much of a big hole do you want to make because the bigger it is of course the more effective you're gonna be but the enemy is also going to be noticing a big gap in the wall and they're probably going to shoot at it 
Also, there's a weird kind of kill holes that you can make, and they require you to just spray at the wall like this. So, what do you get with just spraying, you know, just randomly spraying all over the place, and, you know, just not making any kill hole at all? So, you can, you can even break uh, the first layer of the wall, it doesn't actually matter. Even if you break it, it's probably even better because you're going to see more than ever. So let's say the enemy is pushing down the stairs or pushing on the door to the right. And uh, they're going to see like these little holes in the wall. And they're going to be like, yeah, somebody maybe shot through there. It's nothing special. But because the stairs are white and almost everything in front of you is white. And the enemy is probably going to be a little bit grayer or, you know, having that dark uniform. You can see them actually moving across so while they move across you can just shoot them easily through the wall and score a shot and just making that kill these kill holes can be applied anywhere where there is like really not a lot of dark spaces but a lot of light and like light colors so the more light colors there are like stairs and walls that are white uh the better it is because you are gonna have an easier time spotting an enemy Okay, so now we have done all the basic kill holes and some of the advanced ones, but I haven't told you about the kill holes that require you to shoot at the ground or the ceiling above. So if you're playing maps that have breakable, uh, you know, ceilings or walls or just, you know, floors, so mostly the ceilings or the uh, ground floors that you can break are the wooden ones so it requires a couple of shots actually before you can break them effectively but once you do you have a really great view from above at the enemy that is lurking below so these kind of kill holes are pretty much amazing because the enemy doesn't expect amidst the all the chaos that is going around a couple of you know walls going around or just shots being shot so uh, it's, it's pretty amazing to you know apply these kill holes and just wait for the enemy to you know rush from one side of the door to the other or if you know where the enemy is you can just apply the kill holes right above them and just apply a couple of shots and just kill them it's pretty easy of course also this can be done with the hatches if you don't break the hatch in one shot completely you can just lurk and wait for the enemy to peek from below and just kill him of course if you know what you're doing you can just of course break the hatch from like you know one to two shots just drop below and kill them it's pretty much amazing uh if you know what you're doing but yeah it's 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 a pretty good thing that you can do in game so um we covered almost all the kill holes it all depends uh how just you know creative you are like how creative you are at creating you know kill holes so if you're a defender just waiting for the enemy players to come from below you can just apply a little bit of these holes to you know like the stairs and just wait for the enemy to peek them because most likely if you're an attacker you're just gonna go above and you're not like most likely gonna see these holes because if you're like like let's say pushing the enemy that are camping inside the kitchen you're just gonna climb up here and try to go right above them and just apply a couple of kill holes and just you know try to murder them and if the defensive teammates are smart they're gonna make some really amazing kill holes and just wait for the enemy or if you are a defender player and you know that the enemy players is going to be peeking those windows you can apply these small little holes and wait for them it all depends uh how you play the game there are some amazing kill holes at the beginning like let's say if you are defending the garage and you're friendly teammates haven't applied the reinforcements you can break the garage doors a bit and wait for the enemy to peek around the corner because most likely they would expect it to be reinforced uh, these kind of kill holes can be applied on a lot of maps uh, there are a lot of windows that you can peek uh, you just need to you know uh, experiment around them I've shown you like a lot of kill holes that you can make it all depends from a weapon you have so the larger the caliber of the gun the easier you're going to be applying those kill holes of course I haven't mentioned a little thing that that you can do with castle's wall uh, I almost forgot about it uh, I'm going to be showing you what you can do with the castle's wall if you are a glass so let's switch the castle for a second 
So the castle's ability to put an armor panel is uh, pretty amazing. You can destroy it not that easily. You would need a grenade or a some kind of ash charge or a breaching charge. So it's not easy to destroy it. But there is a thing you can do as glass. So if you're playing a glass, you can use your glass gun to actually pierce the wall and make a little hole in the wall that you can shoot through. So the glass has a really high caliber gun and uh, with it he can just you know just shoot once and make a not so big hole in this castle wall and shoot through it i didn't actually really uh, know about this until recently i saw some people actually doing this but it is pretty amazing because you can do it because most of the guns are not that high caliber and uh, they can just not break the wall you would actually need to hit the wall like a dozen times like 10 or more to actually break it and uh, even with that you can easily get shot from below so it, it's not like really worth it so with glass you can just shoot once not make a lot of noise and just you know just peek through that little hole and uh, make a lot of potential kills uh, with it so it's it's probably the most effective kill hole that you can make as an attacker because mostly if you're an attacker you're gonna make a little hole in the wall and just try to peek and uh, you know they can hear the breaking of the wall but if they hear like glass shooting they're probably gonna expect it to be like somewhere outside but instead of that he's going to be right in front of you and just trying to shoot you so it's pretty amazing that you can do something like that so as I said like depending on each gun or like rifle or shotgun uh, the bigger the caliber or like the more the shells the bigger the hole is gonna be so let's say the enemy is pushing you can make a hole in the wall with the impact grenade and just wait for them to come around the corner and just shoot them it's pretty amazing that you can do something like that with the shotguns of course you can use impact grenades too also as kill holes i mean it's not a small hole but a bigger one but if you know that the enemy is camping like right behind this wall and if you hear them you can use the impact grenade and just easily shoot them uh because they would be like really terrified by the all the you know noises and sounds right behind them and uh you know it's it's a pretty easy kill so also, as I said, with impact grenades, you can do some wonders if you're playing Cavalera or Castle or whoever has like the impact grenades like Rook. So all you need to know is the enemy is right behind that wall and toss an impact grenade and make an easy kill. Of course, you can just shoot through the wall, but it's not as effective because you don't know their like exact location. So uh, using an impact grenade can like pretty much terrify them and they would be like really confused from... Uh, where the explosion came like was it below was it above uh, was it on the side and um, yeah you can, you can make a pretty easy kill in so yeah I mean that was pretty much it for the kill holes like as I said it all depends from your creativity like how creative you are with the kill holes you can make like this little kill hole on the wall and just wait with your pistol or rifle depending what you have and just make an easy kill on the enemy because uh, on the enemy screen they're gonna see this big blocked window and like most likely they're not gonna see this little hole because it is really small and because you are zoomed in into this hole you're gonna make an easy shot on the enemy and just kill them of course you can make uh, fake kill holes like let's say you can make like these double fake kill holes and uh, picking actually through one and not the other so the enemy doesn't expect you to be there or you can make these fake kill holes to actually lure the enemy in to actually shoot them and you're actually going to be like downstairs waiting for them to actually shoot so you know their current location so you can make you know another kill hole or just you know peeking from that other window like it all depends from your tactics and what you think it's valuable but yeah it all comes down to creativity like you can get you can do just so much so guys i hope you really enjoyed this video because i really did have fun making this and uh i think people should know more about this game because it is truly amazing and more people should be playing it and i hope that you know it attracts more players and we can see like more amazing stuff that people can do and of course with new operators there's a lot of things to come and uh, you know a lot more tricks that you can do but yeah uh, as I said, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll be making more of these videos where I can show you some new stuff that you can do that you probably didn't know or you didn't experiment enough to uh, actually, you know, think that you can do. But yeah, 
as always you guys enjoy playing rainbow six siege i'll be seeing you every other day i'll be you know making videos for our watch six siege and uh maybe gta and battlefield one we'll see uh, what I can do, but I'm currently stuck on Six Siege and Overwatch because uh, they are pretty amazing games with amazing communities And I hope they both grow in days to come, but yeah, as always stay cool, and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye